coming from Kona, you turn right on Kaloko Drive, or if you're coming from Waimea, you're gonna turn left. Then from Kaloko, you're gonna turn left on Makahi Street to head to the Forest Trail. Hello everyone, Salamu Alaikum, Namaste, Kumusta Pusalahat all over the um, world. We are on Honowala Forest Reserve and we are tackling the Makaola Trail, which is about. So it's much cooler than Kailua Kona. And then um, we'll tackle it. It's a loop. What's up, chicken? What's up, chicken? I was just going to pitch in that bug spray is needed here when you hike this trail uh, but you know the if you want to prevent the chemical component of the bug spray you can also use an organic one uh, a bracelet that you can buy from any stores so um, I bought mine from Amazon so you can also walk your dogs here um, if you have any So at the trail it bifurcates so you either you turn left here and it says you have to come back up here or the one to the right. So let's go to the right. So there's a sign called Jurassic's pointing to the trail that we just took. Um, they call it Jurassic because it actually feels like you're in Jurassic Park without the animals. We, there's no wild animals here, but just wild pigs and mongoose. So you reach this white rock here, we're turning left. Another white marker, there is a path to your left, which is a fork, so a path to your left and a path that's going straight. So we're going straight for the trail. So another fork here, and someone did mark this with all the white rocks to show you exactly where the trail is thank you whoever did it so we're turning left instead of going instead of going straight we're turning left another white rock colored painted rock here at the fork, we're not going right, we are going left. So three quarters of the hike, we're almost done. There's the painted rock again. So you're not going straight. You're going to take this path to the left. And it appears that there is a blue tie there and a, another tie over there as you can see there's some tr tracks here footprints um don't worry there are no bears here those are just wild pig tracks and don't worry the wild pigs will not hurt you they don't want to have anything to do with you so just keep hiking
Lastly, the hidden gem that I wanted to show you is the Onion House, one of my favorite places to stay with a minimum stay of four nights. Onion right. House was built in 1962 by an architect named Kendrick Kellogg. It's supposed to have been built for the McCormick Spice family. I don't know if you guys know about this family, but they're the most prominent uh, family um, until now, since 1700s dating back to Robert McCormick um, Jr. from the 1700s. They're the ones that uh, he created the what they call McCormick Reaper for farming and then now they expanded now to real estate, uh, financing, publishing, and, um, and the media. The place, the place is ideal for retreat. It's good for family. Uh, it has three bedrooms with its with its own bathroom that's pretty unique the arch roof looks like onion slices and then the walls are made of hawaiian rocks a uh, lava rocks to represent hawaiian temples the home has been restored multiple times by beth mccormick and each and one of the designs inside the house well including the outside it also has its own swimming pool that lights up at night with different colors. Um, it shows how um, creative she was. Stay safe, everyone. I will see you on the next adventure.